In the last video, we discussed about how our app is going to look like and we had a small discussion on the overview of this project and the things that we are going to learn through this project. In this video, let's discuss the design and wireframe and the component architecture of our application. So how it will look like? I built these wireframes using an app called Figma. I also use Adobe XD. You can use either of them, but this is not a design course. So I'm not going to give you a tutorial of Figma or Adobe XD, but don't worry, I can probably handle that in a separate video or sometime later on. But for now, you can focus on these wireframes to see how our application is going to look like. So the first step while building any application is to confirm what all features will it have. So before building any application, I make some rough sketches of the application to fix out what all features it is going to have on a pen and paper. After building those rough sketch, I try to build a low fidelity. This is called a low fidelity wireframe where it does not show any color. It does not show any photograph. It does not show anything about our application, but it shows a sort of blueprint of how our app is going to look like. So this is a low fidelity wireframe. So then after having a low fidelity wireframe, I try to make out the components from those those low fidelity diagrams so that I can know what all components will my react application have. So as you can see, this is going to be the first page, which is landing plus the test page. This is, this will have some sort of a uh, header, a landing page, a banner and the actual test. The second thing that this app will have will be a try again component. So once we extend our time limit, which is of one minute during the test, we will see another screen, which is, which will show us the results of that particular test along with some share buttons. This will be, this can be of any social media for now. I've taken the Facebook share and the Twitter share buttons and a retry button so that the person can start the test from scratch once again. So yes, this was the low fidelity diagrams or the low fidelity wireframes of our application. From this, we can easily figure out what all React components does this app require. So as we can see, the first page is definitely going to require a navigation bar, first of all. Then it can have a landing section or a landing component, which I call the landing component. Then it is going to have our challenge section, this whole bigger outline is going to be the challenge section. And then it's going to have the footer. And if you remember correctly from the last time, as we discussed, all of these sections are wrapped inside a component, which is the top level parent component, which is called the app component. So yes, the app component will contain the nav bar, it will contain the landing section, it will contain the challenge section, and it will contain the footer. So this was how our test results were going to look like. So results were um, will contain the number of characters that we typed, the number of words, and the speed, which is one word per minute. So this will have various share buttons and tweet buttons and so on, which we already saw in the last video. So now this challenge section, this big challenge section is going to have further components as its child component. It's going to first of all have a sort of container which will contain our outermost test container, which I'm calling. So the names are completely up to you. I am calling this the test container. Don't worry if it does not make sense at this point. While we start making this application, I bet that it's going to make sense. So don't worry at all right now. And then this uh, test container is going to have another container, which will decide basically whether to show the challenge or whether to show the try again section. Again, we can have a try again as well. And inside that uh, test container. So if let's say in case we have the typing challenge, we are going to also have, we will need to show some cards. These I call the details card, which is going to show the speed in words per minute. It's also going to show the characters. It's also going to show the words. And then there is going to be the main test, 
inside the test again these every letter that we see here I have made it a component because we need to control its behavior for example when I type a a was typed correctly so it turns green when I type space and then let's say Z I N so yes these are correct but let's say if I if I type something wrong if I type O here instead of N it goes red to show me that this was a mistake so yes this is going to be another separate component which is going to be the test letter so here we are going to have N test letter components I hope that makes sense now but don't worry if you don't understand it right now once we start building our application I bet that this is going to make a lot of sense so don't worry at, don't worry at all right now and let's finally look at the architecture of our application so as you can remember last time our comp our component architecture was just of four components it only contained four components but this one has such a complex architecture and yet it's again a simple application so that's why i wanted to make this app along with you so that you can practice the following things the components the data flow the jsx states and props and using this app it's going to give you a very good practice of all the things that we learned in the previous video so again going through it very very quickly Firstly, the parent component will be called the app component. The app component will have four, ch four children, which will be the nav, the landing page, the challenge section, and the footer component. The landing page, again, will have one child component, which I'm calling the typewriter. Typewriter is not something that we will make, although we could have made this, but there are a lot of libraries present out there so that we can reuse those libraries so as you can see this is the typewriter component which uh, which gives the typewriter effect so yes we are going to uh, use those that pre-existing component which is the typewriter component and i am going to show you how to use those npm libraries and how to import those npm libraries into your project so that you can reuse the code which is written by others in your project then this challenge section is going to have one child which is test container test container and this test container is going to decide which element to render so we are also going to see conditional rendering on the screen in this video or in this project so test container will have two children based on some variables or some flags or some conditions which one to show either it will show the try again screen or it will show the typing challenge container then the typing challenge container let's say retry the typing challenge container will have two main components as children the first one will be three challenge details cards first challenge detail card second and third and then it's going to have a sibling which is typing challenge this is going to be our main typing challenge and inside our typing challenge we are going to have n test letters so that is all about the component architecture. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it went a little bit long, but this was something that we should be clear about before even starting to make our application. And how will it look it, uh, like after we complete the project? The end result is going to be like this that we already saw in the previous video. So let's start the coding part. We are just going to create the boilerplate in this project and we are going to start coding from the next video onwards so before ending this video let's quickly jump on to our project folder you can go to any folder in your um, local machine and open the command prompt or the terminal in that particular directory and then you can type in npx the same command which we used last time create react app let me make it a little bit big so that you can see it clearly npx space create react app space the name of the project which i will call flash type as simple as that and then it will start creating our flash type project so let's take a break here see you in the next video where we'll be, we will start building our components completely from, from scratch and do mention in comments if you have any doubt or if you want uh, me to resolve any doubt that you are facing during this project thank you see you in the next video